Okay, people. Well, uh, it looks like I got it in. I just got it in. It looks like it came in the original box. So I'm going to open it up now and uh, we'll see what we got here. Um, the guy said that sold it to me. He says he barely used it. So we we'll shall see. So let me just get a knife for this thing. Let me get a screwdriver, I guess. Let's open it up with this. Now, for those of you interested in what this is, this is the uh, Samsung QX. I forgot the number. The QX410. It's the Samsung QX410 laptop. So it came out in 2011, so it's a fairly new laptop. And uh, I'll give you the specs on this before I open it. It comes with Windows 7, like I told you before. Uh, has the uh, Let me sit down a little bit. My leg is killing me. It has the uh, Intel Core i5 460M. Uh, it's 14-inch monitor. It has... Uh, NVIDIA GF310M, I don't know if that's a good processor or not, uh, that's a good uh, graphics uh, chip, with 512 megabytes of RAM, 4 gigabytes of uh, onboard memory, and a 640 gigabyte hard drive. So this is a really, really powerful system. So that was the specs on that. So let me open this up. It's going to take me a while, guys, because this is all sealed up. And I want you to do a full unboxing for you people. So this might take a little bit of time, but... When I get this open and I get it set up, I will do my first block TV on this, and I'll be real happy. What am I doing this on? This is what happens when you do it live, folks. You know, I'm using the smallest screwdriver now. I wonder if this, wow, this thing looks like it's, I don't understand, because this thing looks like it was shipped from the factory. Honestly, I mean, the way it's packaged, you know what I'm saying? The way it's packed, the guy packed it really well. It's like, he says it was used, but it doesn't look used. Okay, so, okay, I have that side open. Let me do this side. So, uh, the reason I wanted to get a new laptop was mainly for the uh, camera. And mainly, I really wanted to see what Windows 7 was all about. Now, I'm hoping... I'm hoping that he included the discs. I really am, because without, not that it's a pain in the neck, but without the discs, if something happens to the operating system. So now I got, well, I don't know if I can put it up higher. Try. You got the inside here, it's just foam. Foam. Wow. This guy barely used it, uh, the packages, the manual stuff. I don't see any discs yet. Hold up a second. I don't see any discs. That's the most important part, people. You can buy a computer and you don't have the discs. Well, okay, these are just manuals. I'm going to put those aside. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to need these. Because so I've never touched Windows 7 ever. Though that was on the bed. Now, what I was saying is, without the discs, if something happens to the operating system or... If I get a crash, I won't be able to restore Windows 7, the operating system. This is the game. This is the, the game. This is the actual uh, computer. Wow. I like it. I like it. It has like a, I don't know if you guys can see that. It has like a matte finish, like a uh, an aluminum, brushed aluminum. It has a brushed aluminum finish on it. Right? Do it that way. A brushed aluminum finish. I don't know if you guys can take that out, but it's a brushed aluminum finish. So now let me see. I don't see any discs, which is not the end of the world, but I mean, I can always purchase a cheap copy of Windows 7 somewhere, I guess. Uh, no, I remember he said that everything was um, installed onto the computer. And these are the cables. I hope the cables come. Yeah, got the power cable, which is probably more important than the actual discs. I got the power cable, so. Okay, so now let's. What are these? Okay, so I guess the discs are not included. But, nevertheless, the important part is if this thing boots up. Let me put this away. You still may be missing something, but so far. 
Now let me see if this thing boots up. Let me sit down a little bit. My back is killing me. My leg is killing me. I'm going to have to go to the doctor for my leg. Even though I know he's going to tell me it's sciatica. Uh, I'm just old. Okay, so here we go. Uh, wow, this looks really, really cool. This is the back of it. Back of it. It's black. Okay, let's open this up. Mm -hmm. I guess. It's got to have a lock on it of some sort. Don't want, I don't want to do anything that'll break it. Oh, wait, here we go. This just opens up. There's no lock. Okay, so here we go. So the screen, I can tell you, is like a mirror finish, uh, which I don't really care about because some people say it's a, you know, a fingerprint magnet, but I'm not really going to be using my fingers on this. I don't think it's a touch screen, so... And the uh, keyboard itself, I like the keyboard. It's like chiclet keyboard. Very nice feel to the keys. Very loose. Very nice. Well, they all work. They seem to all work. Check the keys out. Very good. None are missing. None are broken. That I can tell anyway. All right, now let's start this thing up to see if it starts. Now, this may not start up because I didn't even plug it in. Yeah, starting up. We got power. Oh, yeah. This is the first time I'm seeing Windows 7. I'm doing this for you guys because you asked for uh one of you asked for a uh, unboxing and this is what I wanted to give you. Starting Windows. Now I'm gonna be working on this pretty much all day because I want to put the programs on and hopefully I'll do a first uh, block TV on this thing. Uh, maybe tonight even. I'll see if I want to do a blog TV on this thing. Okay. Hey, the boot up was pretty quick. Uh, I'm gonna have to change the background to what I like. Uh. Windows 7 Home Premium. I don't know if that's the best one. Uh, there are three different versions of Windows 7. I'm not sure exactly if this is the best one. But, um, okay. Okay, so now, uh, what I test for is to see if there's any programs loading here. If there are like a thousand programs loading here, I don't like that. Obviously, the guy knew what he was doing. The guy knew exactly what he was doing. Because according to this, the only thing on here is the battery, uh, speaker icon, and not too much is, and a protection, Sophos protection, whatever that is, adware, is out of date, so I may have to update. I may even add AVG, I'll see. But looks like nothing is really running in the background that's going to be taking up a lot of memory or a lot of uh, resources. So I don't have to mess with that, really. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. The only thing I see on here... The desktop and home network. I may have to set. Oh, I have to set the home network to work with the my uh, my uh, router. So I don't know how I'm going to do that on this, but hopefully it's as easy as the other one. So I have a lot of things to do, guys. I just thought I'd give you a quick up unboxing. And the only thing up here is the recycle bin right now and the Samsung support. I'm going to change a whole bunch of stuff. It's a couple hours worth of work, but I like the uh, laptop. Very very shiny. Very very cool. Take it easy, people, and uh, be well.